Uh, in order to do that, we need to go to our texture settings here. You're going to see we don't have an emissive in here. So click that plus button, add an emissive channel. So now when I go back to my layers, any previous channels, so we go back down here, you're going to see um, <clears throat> an emissive has been added. It's not turned on yet. And in this case, I think I'm just going to add an extra emissive layer. Let's start making some of this, some of these areas glow a little bit. So let's go ahead and name this Jade. And this is gold. And on top of all of this, let's go through here and add another fill layer, and we'll call this emissive. Now for the emissive, all I really want to control is the opacity and the, or I'm sorry, the color and the emissive. So we're going to turn off all the other channels. For what color we want our emissive, I guess we'll do something that complements blue. We'll do maybe a light orangey color. So we're going to choose our base color here and our emissive color. As we dial this in, you're going to see uh, things are going to start glowing. In fact, when we pass our shadows around, you're going to see over here in the shadow area, it's even going to glow. Uh, however, we want to control exactly where this is going to go. So one more time, you know, you know the drill by now. You can right click, uh, add a black mask or add a black mask with color selection. Go through here and pick and the eyeballs are on their own emissive layer here. So I'm just going to make the eyeballs glow. And you know what? Let's also make these little knobs <laughs> glow as well. Of course, if you want to, you can add to this. You can go through here and say add a paint layer. And then wherever you paint white, it'll be emissive or tap X wherever you paint black, we'll get rid of that emissive. So if you want to supplement this manually, feel free. Now you're going to see if I pass the shadow over it, it's kind of like, okay, cool. Like they kind of light up, but they're not that bright. We can go in here to our shader settings. And right here you see there's an emissive intensity. So if I crank this up, you're going to see, okay, great. It goes from yellow to white. That doesn't really help me. Where this can really help is if we go in here toward display settings, scroll all the way down here and turn on activate post effects, and then open up this glare area and go ahead and turn that on. And now you're gonna see wherever it's light or light is really hitting our object, it's gonna glare uh, like crazy. Uh, and you can even change the look of this glare. So you can go here to like horizontal streak if you want, or snow cross or whatever you wanna do. I'm gonna go ahead and just say, ooh, cheap lens, that's neat. I'm gonna go up here to bloom and now we've got this bloom. And so you can dial in like the luminance. So if you crank it up, it's gonna get hotter. Threshold will kind of rein that in just a little bit. And then the remap factor will also play a part in this. So you can go through here and kind of get the amount of bloom you want. Now for me, I don't necessarily want all the gold to go nuts. I just want the emissive to go nuts. So what I can do is I can dial in maybe a little bit of bloom on that gold. I don't mind a little bit, but really I want my emissive to go crazy. That's where I can go back into my shader. And as I crank up that emissive intensity, now it's going to start inheriting a lot more of that bloom. So I can have the nice gold look without it going crazy, but my emissive can go a little bit crazy, like it's really pumping out uh, some, some color there. There's gonna be a little bit of a limitation here as well. Like we did previously, um, if you wanna go through here and say file, export textures, and you're going, okay, this looks perfect. And then you go in here and you're like, okay, great. I wanna do my 2D view and say export. Let's open our output directory and then double click that PNG. You're going to see this is what you get. So it's not really even capturing any of our effects. Now, that could be useful if you want to take that into Photoshop and do your post effects. Not really useful uh, here. And in fact, if we go in here to iRay, again, you're going to lose all your opacity. You're going to lose your subsurface scattering because, it's, again, it's, this isn't physically, physically accurate. It's just a plane with a displacement map. However, your post effects are still activated. Again, we can just turn that off. So you will get that. Um, you know, but maybe not ideal. So let's go out of here, of, out of iRay. So last resort, you can always hit tab. And in fact, I have a giant monitor, so I can always even go to full screen and I can capture, you just screen capture this and dump that into Photoshop if I want. Use green shot or snag it, or like we mentioned before, control shift S. We'll go into windows capture mode. You can just click and drag over this and that'll copy to your clipboard. And then you can just take that and uh, paste it right into Photoshop. Control N, Control Enter, Control V, and there you go.